Welcome to the OOV Day, the Reflection for Sunday, October 2nd. The second reading for this weekend's Mass comes to us from the first chapter of the second letter to St. Timothy. It reads, Beloved, I remind you to stir and to flame the gift of God that you have received through the imposition of my hands. For God did not give us a spirit of cowardice, but rather of power and love and self-control. So do not be ashamed of your testimony to our Lord, nor of me, a prisoner, for your sake. But bear your share of hardship for the gospel with the strength that comes from God. Take as your norm the sound words you've heard from me, and the faith and love that are in Christ Jesus. Guard this rich trust with the help of the Holy Spirit that dwells within you. Today's reading shows for St. Saint Paul's trust in St. Timothy. And though there is no recorded words of either St. Timothy or St. Paul to confirm this assertion, we know that St. Paul appointed St. Timothy to lead this community, one of the first Christian communities, because of his trust in him. And no doubt because of the gifts that God had given St. Timothy in order to fulfill that role as a leader of the early church. But one of the things we have to acknowledge, too, that Trust is something that needs to be earned. It's not automatically given in any way. And we know this from our own lives. When we trust someone, whether it's figurative or literally, we're handing over a part of our lives to another. And whether we acknowledge it or not, it is trust that helps us to live better lives. When we trust people around us, we are freer. And we can get more done. When we don't trust anyone, when there is insecurity that surrounds us, we have to operate very differently. We have to be skeptical. We have to truly be people on guard. So trust is an essential aspect of our lives when we have it. It really makes our lives better and easier. But again, when we don't have trust in our lives, our lives are very different. So St. Paul trusted St. Timothy. And the words we hear today are of an elder to a younger, giving sound advice, but also acknowledging that God had given him gifts. And that again, St. Paul trusted him. And all St. Timothy had to do was to stir the gifts he had given into flame to literally allow himself to cooperate more fully with God's gifts so that he could lead and guide the community that he was in charge of. But I also want to acknowledge, brothers and sisters, that we have to place our trust in God first and foremost. Because without that basic trust in God, we cannot operate with the freedom and the strength that we need. Because just imagine if someone did not know of God, did not know of his love, or even thought of God's grace, meaning that there is no trust. Life would be scary, hard, difficult, frustrating, fill in an adjective. But again, when we trust in God and we surrender our lives to him, Our lives are very different. We can move and have our being in a way that others cannot. And this does not make Christians naive, as some people would say of Christians who trust in God. On the contrary, I think one of the things we have to acknowledge is is that trust in God helps us to motivate ourselves and to orient our lives. That again, if someone takes advantage of us because of their sinfulness, we work to resolve it, but at the end of the day, God will take care of us. Or again, if we are not given gifts that others have, there is a reason for it. We trust in God and his reason for that reality. So yes, there are authentic human relationships as shown forth in today's reading where mentors and those that are mentoring give advice 
and place their trust in their leadership. But also we have to acknowledge that first we, we have to have that deep abiding trust in God. So if we don't have that in our lives, brothers and sisters, that's what we need to work on. That's what we need to develop. Because again, without trusting God, our lives are very different. And again, our God is trustworthy. And not only trustworthy, he is perfect, all-powerful, all-knowing, all-loving. He sent his son Jesus Christ to die for us so we can place our entire lives in his hands and trust that he will help and support us, whether we're St. Timothy or whatever role we find ourselves. Trust in God and your lives will be truly blessed. Our Lady of Victory, pray for us.